Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to an update here on Apple. Today is September 16th, and Apple actually, guess what? It gapped down today. It actually was a beautiful gap down today. The funny thing is I just did a video on this last week and made my call for it. I mean, the same call I've been saying all along. But I even had conviction last week, even though this gap on Apple didn't really go anywhere, it didn't really matter. I knew that this chart was lower. I even knew this chart was lower when I did this bar here. So just a beautiful, beautiful chart. Nice, nice downtrend in this Apple. And once again, it's so important to understand what's going on in the life of a stock, particularly if you're in this, because what if you are actually in this as a core short or a swing short, and you see a bar like this, would you get scared out of it then? The answer is no. This is a rally into resistance. That's all that this was. You cannot read trends based on lower highs and lower lows in charts. There's so much more to it than that. And actually, what tells me all these things, to be able to read so well, is being able to read gaps extremely well, which, which I can do, and I'm teaching people to do. This is an amazing gap here in Apple. This is lower tomorrow as well. I don't know where this is going to close today. Uh, target today on this move down here happening into 2 o'clock major reversal time, if it really wants to do it, is here, 450, 445. I don't know if it's going to go all the way down there uh, today, but it's... It's a possibility for tomorrow, if it doesn't today. Really nice bearish move here in April, and it is a continuation gap. So I'm sure that lots of people thought this was a great buy in here, but it wasn't. This is why it's important to understand how to read trends, because if you buy something that's in a downtrend, you can't possibly expect to make money that's not a good trade. And a lot of people thought Apple was recovering in here. Why? It got over this level of resistance. It was a gap up on the 200 period moving average. On this day, it did have a nice, fat, big uh, bar. I mean, this is a fatty. It's like $25 big. But it was nothing but a rally into resistance. And yes, people bought in this bar. But not, not the people that are in control of the stock. Not the people that are in control of the stock. Not the power money people. So here it is, beautiful continuation of Apple. Apple is going to break again. And uh, this is just lovely, 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 and really just reinforces everything that I know already, the way that I trade and what I'm teaching people and what I'm doing. So Apple, Apple gapping again. And this is the confirmation. Today is the confirmation. Last week was a confirmation. This is the confirmation. So this is it. Okay, this is a confirmation that Apple's lower and period, end of story. I've been saying this all along. I've been saying this for a year. Uh, and, uh, and here it is. So beautiful, beautiful chart. And actually, let's look at the short setups in this today because it did have some nice ones. And you really didn't even have to do this aggressively, although, by the way, you could. But if you wanted to make sure that it broke, you could have let it break down and it reset up again here in the five minute chart. And this had a good risk reward as a late play. This is, this is here, it broke again. Again, I don't trade the afternoon, but if you wanted to do an afternoon setup, this base, 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 and broke. And the low here was 450 to 21, 450 to 18. I really wouldn't count this as a double bottom, but it is within three cents. I have a feeling this is going to break this and fall into the close. I have a feeling this is going to break this level here and fall into the close. And wherever it goes, it goes possibly 450 or so if it breaks. I mean, it depends what time this actually happens, but this is hanging on for dear life here. Hanging on by a thread, an absolute thread. Really beautiful 15 minute too. Look at this. So the 15 minute rallied up here. Held, 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 and broke right into the 130 reversal time here and falling and breaking into two. So I think this breaks the low of the day today and just goes, Doop. and this could happen right in the next seven minutes here into two o'clock. Target's for 445 today for this, at least 450. And if it doesn't get to 450 today, it's probably just going to gap down tomorrow and get right there. Let's look at the 30 minute. Look at this. This can't even rally at all. Beautiful chart. You can see the gap here. Look. This is a 60 minute chart. Do you see the, the gap this morning? So this is all last week, today. Boom. There it is. 
And again, the time of the day to do these things mostly is in the morning because the big, 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 big move happened in the morning. A reset up again, though. There's a couple different setups in this to do today. You really had to be patient with it or just sit and watch it all day to get it. But this is a beautiful gap on Apple. Yep, it's broke that too. There's nothing stopping this now. Nothing. I'm just going to fall down here into the sky. This is going to have a big down week in here. Uh, tom tomorrow it's lower too. This is, this is going to fall through tomorrow. Here. I don't know where this opens tomorrow or where this ends to closes today, but 440. This is the target for Apple, at least in the next two days. And then we'll see what it does there. But it's lower all, all over the place in the bigger time frame. This is what I've been saying. And so I'm sure a lot of people that bought in this bar here, are, they're upside down. I mean, they really were upside down depending on what price you got in this last week. You see this didn't even get bought here the day after the fact, even though this didn't go red. It didn't even get bought here the day after the fact, even though it didn't go red. There were so many clues and signs that this was lower. This is a rally into resistance. Where is the resistance? Back up in here. That's it. This is it. This thing is lower. It's absolutely lower. This is a continuation gap in Apple today on September 16th. It is a bearish gap. Apple's in a downtrend, and it's going to continue moving lower. There's absolutely nothing stopping this now. Today is the confirmation, although there was a 20 billion signs of confirmation all over the place if you know how to read gaps. So important to read price. And actually, it's, it, the reason gaps are good at telling me what's going to happen, that I can see these things ahead of time, is because I, I know how to read price in gaps. So that's where all of this comes from. Gaps really give you like almost a magic crystal ball. If you can read gaps well, they give you a little magical crystal ball. And that magical crystal ball is telling you what's going to happen before it happens. And that's the beauty of reading gaps and being able to see them ahead of time to take the trades to make the money before they actually happen. It's easy to go back after the fact and see what somebody's going to do. But to see what somebody's going to do before it does it is magical. It's like looking into a crystal ball. How am I able to do that? Because I'm reading gaps. I'm reading the gaps live in real time and seeing it happen and set up in the moment. Yep, here this goes. There it goes. It's going to break the low of the day under 452.18. There it goes. At least to 450 here. I mean, it's only 2 o'clock. Uh, this could very easily get to 450, uh, 445 today. There it is, new low in Apple. Look at this, it's just going to go right to 450. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chart. So if you are interested in learning how to read gaps, the next gap class actually is in two weeks, September 28th and 29th. If you would like to learn how to predict these things before they happen in the gaps, in reading the gaps, Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Here it is in Apple. This is going to get to 450 today. I actually think if it gets down near anywhere near 450, it's going to break it. I don't know if this gets to 445 today. This is this is all set up already in the afternoon. If you're not in this now and this break in the 15, there's nothing to do here. I don't think this gives another setup today. It's had a bunch of them in the morning and the afternoon one when it broke, this is it. it just broke the low. And it's two o'clock major reversal time here. So this is a beautiful chart. Here, 449.50, 449.50 today. Where did I get into? 451.66. Yeah, this is realistic, but the target really is 445. I think this is going to gap down again tomorrow because this is just so damaging here. Today's gap in Apple is really, really, really damaging. Whether whatever this does, however it closes, it's damaging. Because it is giving the confirmation, you know. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information on how to train gaps or rank gaps or play gaps, email me at Melissa at the stockswish.com. This is Apple, September 16th. I just did a call on Apple last week. And here it is again. It's following through just as predicted. So have a great day, everybody. Have a wonderful trading week. Email me if you'd like to do the next class. It's coming up again in two weeks. The 20th and the 29th fall is a good time to learn how to trade gaps and trade them. Trade these puppies live. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.